Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at a wonderful free software synthesizer from Full Bucket called Tricent Mark III. Well, I was going to say three guesses of what this is going to model. Um, I think the title gives it away really, I just change the C to a D and you get a Trident. So this is a representation of the Korg Trident in software form and it's quite a sort of true emulation. Uh, sounds really good, sounds really beefy. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first patch when you open it up is called Fat Monster and it sounds like this. <laughs> beefy low end on that one. Um, so what we've got here, we've got a key sound area flange on a synthesizer. So we'll just quickly gloss over these very well as swift as I can really. This key assign, uh, if you want to do a split between the synthesizer, brass and strings. So basically this is what the trident is made up of. You've got a synthesizer module, you've got a brass module and you've got a string module and you can mix between the three of these and you can split the keyboard so if you want just the left hand to have brass so you move that to the left if you want the right hand to have the synth you just move that to the right and your keyboard split is at c3 so that's the synth that's my brass and that's the split point so that's very simple how you set your split up on the keys. So we'll just get that back to middle. There we go. There we, that's it. So in the synthesizer section, you can do your usual waveform of um, it's a saw, pulse width, pulse width modulation. And you can control the pulse width modulation here in the pulse width. Your octave is your standard eight, uh, 16 foot, 8 foot, 4 foot. So 16 foot gives you more of a bass sound. I'm going to just turn off the string and the brass. So that's what your synthesizer module sounds like. If you want to just turn the synthesizer off, click the output, I get nothing. Click it back on, and that's also the volume controls, the, obviously, the volume output of the synthesizer. Um, we can add another octave in, turn it off, make it a bit beefy with the 16 foot double the eight foot, four foot. Your cutoff is your normal cutoff for an analog synth and resonance, etc. I'm going to that one. You've got your voltage control filters, uh, which speaks for yourself. If you program synthesizers, you'll know what those mean. Um, what I want to show you though, is the fact that what you can do with this now is if I just turn off the output for the synthesizer and just keep the brass on. I'll just turn that to send pan it because you can pan each individual one of these. So right, that's more in the center now. What we can do, which is really, really, really clever, is if I want to, if I change multi off and put select on. Now, if I play, I get nothing. If I play two keys, I get something. Now, that's controlled by this little wonderful trigger select thing. So that says two, four, six, eight. So if I change that to four, I've got to play four notes before it comes in. If I play three, I get nothing. That is really good is if you bring on this um, synthesizer module, just pan that back to the right. So now what happens now? I just got the synthesizer, but then so you can do effect like that where you play a single lead line and then when you play like uh, in thirds afterwards, you bring the brass in. So that's a wonderful thing you can do with the with the brass section. Now with the sin, uh, strings section, uh, you can combine 16 foot, 8 foot, 4 foot strings. 
So just a normal synth strings. So and then you can introduce a, like a bone effect. Now, most of these, if the light's on, it means the thing's active. The exception for this is on the strings module, you've got vibrato off. If it's lit, it means there's no vibrato. And if it's lit, there's no ensemble. So there we go. Um, control your outputs with your left and right panning. Uh, and then you can add a flanger to each section individually as well. There's no delay and there's no reverb on there. All you've got is a flanger, but you can put your external delays and a uh, reverb on if you want. So I'll just quickly run through some patches. Now we've gone through the sort of like basics of what's actually in this uh, Trisant Mark III. So synth and strings. It's not bad. Um, why stereo pad? Uh, long tail on that one. That's the release tail here where it says attack of decay sustain releases. That's the bit that's making it sort of give like a reverb type effect when there isn't any. Sitar like. just go for let's see uh, the body pad yeah that's not bad at all uh, let's go for one more uh, this is not right yeah quite right it isn't right um, what we can do here as well, this is the old Korg Trident was limited to eight voice poly polyphony. Um, what you can do is if you switch that off, you can go up to 64 voice of polyphony there, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so there we go. This is absolutely brand spanking free uh, Korg Trident replica in software from full bucket. Link is going to be in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ding that bell and you'll be informed when the next video is up as we continue our little series on free software synthesizers and effects that you can get without spending a penny. So catch you in the next one.